Good day! In this video, we are going to try and solve question 1C of the 2021 NCA Level 3 Statistics Paper, Probability Distribution. There are two parts to this question. We will do both of them in this video. So we shall read question 1C Part 1 first. A recent New Zealand study asked drivers to respond anonymously about their mobile phone habit while driving. 16.7% of the people admitted using their mobile phone while stopping at a traffic light. A Canterbury researcher was interested to see if this behaviour on Memorial Avenue was similar to the drivers in the New Zealand study. In September 2021, the data was collected from a group of 10 drivers stopped at a traffic light on Memorial Avenue. The number of drivers N equal to 10 or out of 10 who were using the mobile phone while stopped at traffic light was recorded. Recorded, sorry. The result shown in the graph below, the experimental are shown in grey. All these are the experimental, okay, or the observed, okay. These results are compared to the binomial distribution model, okay. The theoretical probability are in black, okay. We are going to learn how to calculate these three numbers here in a moment, okay. The graph shows the observed distribution, the grey bars and the binomial distribution with P equal to 0 0.167. So we're going to put P 0 0.167 and N equal to 10 because there are 10 drivers. The theoretical probability model shown in black. Okay, so now the question asks you complete the graph by showing the remaining values for the theoretical probability of the binomial distribution. So we need to calculate when x equal to 0, x equal to 1, so 0 is here, 1 and 2. And I'm going to show you how you get the values and you're going to put the numbers in there. So now we're going to go to statistics. Now we're going to do distribution. Then we go to binomial because this is a point 0, 1 and 2. You have to be a BPD. Okay. So now again, you cannot put list, you do variable. And then we're going to enter. So you cannot enter, you must put uh, down. Okay. X is the number of trial. No, sorry, x is where you calculate. So x is equal to 0. So x is 0. You're going to execute them. Number of trials, there are 10 trials. So we're going to put 10 there. Execute. P, the, the probability is 0 0.167. And then enter, enter. And the first answer is 0 0.161. So we're going to put 0 0.161. So that is how we get 0 0.161. That's how the point there, the, that is the... Theoretical probability. Similarly, we're going to do for x equal to 1. So the same thing, we're going to exit, okay? And this time, instead of x equal to 0, we're going to change to 1. And the rest is the same. Execute, execute. And the answer is 0 0.322. So 1 is 0 0.322. So that is where the point is going to be. 0 0.3 is here. Slightly above 0 0.3 is 0 0.322. And for x equal to 2, we do the same thing. Go to exit. And this time, x equal to 2, the other variables are the same. So we're going to just change the x equal value, execute, execute, and the answer is 0 0.29. So that is why that point is just below the 3, is 0 0.29. So all these points are the theoretical probability of the binomial distribution. The grey one is the observed number. So now, we're going to answer the second part. The second part will give us the excellent if we can answer them. Okay, so I'm going to take away the calculator. And I am going to bring back the graph later, okay? So we are going to solve this part. Okay, so we're going to read the question. Okay, discuss two features of the observed and theoretical probability that justify the suitability of the binomial distribution model for the number of drivers out of 10 observed using their mobile phone. So we are going to compare between the observed and theoretical. Okay, so... I read this question, I'm going to shoot the graph. The probability of the theoretical probability for 0 and 1 drivers is more than the observed, while the probability for theoretical probability for 2 drivers using mobile phone is less than the probability for the observed data. For 3 or more data, the theoretical probability or observed probabilities are similar. So I'm going to bring back the graph, okay? So if you see 0 and 1, the theoretical probability is higher than the observed probability. While for 2, the of theoretical is lower than the observed. For 3, 4, 5, 6 and above, they are about the same. So that's what is meant by point 0.1. Okay, so we're going to do the point 0.2 now. Point 0.2, the highest point for the theoretical probability is one driver using the mobile phone while driving on Memorial Avenue. For the observed, the highest probability is two drivers using the mobile phone. So again, we're going to bring back the data. So the highest point for... 
uh, for the theoretical is this point here. Among all these points, the highest is here. So it's the, called the modal probability. For the observed, the gray value, the highest is at dr two drivers. So that is the two points we're going to answer. If you can answer both these points, you will get an easy excellence. And that will give you an E7 in this paper. Have a go at it again. Draw the graph. Make sure you understand it. And you should be all good for the paper. Cheers, everyone. And have a good day.